sticks. I am passionate about music, about the power of music. I've seen how a song can change the world. My name is Julio Reyes Copello. I'm a composer, producer, pianist. We are right now in my studio, Art House Records, and also the first Abbey Road Institute in America. I actually graduated as a classical pianist, a classical composer. Always making a lot of music in Colombia for film and for television. I moved to Miami in 1997. It's been like a very unique uh, journey. I love from Miami that you get to explore all of the Latin music and the different genres that we have. A little bit of urban, but also like the pop side. The salsa with Mark Anthony. I love how vibrant it is, especially nowadays. There's, it's like a melting pot of different cultures. There's so many things happening. It makes things exciting. Especially what I love is this studio. It's such a relevant studio. With many artists from all over the world like wanting to be here. We really try to take care a lot of the space. So that everybody that comes here feels at home. Because that's when you can be the most creative. We want everybody to come here to feel like in a safe place. As an artist, you need to be vulnerable. And you can only be vulnerable if you're comfortable. That's the DNA that I, that I try to capture in this. Since I built this place, it's been like a magnet for one of the most important artists, Mark Anthony, J.Lo. Cani Garcia, we have Pablo Alborán. Christina Aguilera, Shakira. Carlos Rivera, he's also amazing. I mean, a lot of, a lot of artists from all around the world. And it creates such a, a unique environment, and especially also for students, where you have real life artists that come around and that make their music, it's, it's very inspiring. I'm also very passionate about education and I always felt that there's a huge gap between uh, academy and reality. The philosophy really is based on mentorship. It's about being in a studio surrounded by engineers and producers who want to mentor young and aspiring songwriters and producers. So the goal is not here's a big classroom and this is how things should be done. It's really about working with each individual person because there's no one size fits all in this industry. It's amazing because we have the ideas, we show it to them, we work the ideas with them, we produce, we mix, we master, we do everything here. I'm creating actually this new model where kids have access to this supernatural aspect of education, which is when you see someone that you admire doing something, you learn with your spirit. In a fast pace, even faster than when your brain is learning. The first time I got to listen to Atmos, it was, it was so emotional. I think I, I cried and even. Something that is fascinating for me is the, the movement, the possibility to have your performers like almost in a choreography. Uh, that's something very unique for the, for the listener. The way we mix it in Atmos was more like in a theatrical way. So instead of only like spacing it, you could feel them walking around the room and getting together at the end. That's gonna end up creating new genres that allows the listener to be inside of the, of the experience. 
We are adding movement to, to the whole experience of, of music and emerging with, yeah, with theater. When you hear this Atmos mix, you realize that that's the way music is meant to be heard. You just realize when, when you are in Atmos how much you are you're missing from, from stereo. One thing that we're really excited about is producing and writing music from scratch in Atmos. Uh, so really thinking in 3D and then later figuring out how to fit it into stereo. <laughs> We have this, this role of minimizing the, the weight of, of reality, which is the, the goal of, of art and, and music, right? 